All right, so <clears throat> another construction estimating tip. Determine an accurate hourly rate for specialty labor. Okay, so specialty labor or craftsmen, uh, you must include normal wages and benefits, but also you can't forget to factor in the, the federal, state, payroll costs. Uh, but be sure to take all this in account when establishing their hourly rate. Once you have the rate established, then you can build out the additional members of the specialty crew and determine a crew rate. Now, when you're doing crew rates here, right, you, 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 especially a specialty crew rate, you're building these items up. Let's say you have a, you know, it's an odd crew that you're building. Say it's a six man crew to do a, you know, a, I wanna say a tunnel. I, I, but, but what I really wanna say is that a job that's outside of, um, not outside of your norm, but it's considered a specialty, right? So let's say a, a contractor that does uh, normally curb and gutter, or street panels, and he has to do decorative concrete, okay? So you want to establish that decorative concrete crew. You want to put the lead up there. What is your lead foreman going to get paid with all his fringes um, uh, or, and his benefits that's included in there, uh, plus the overhead, right? And if you're just charging for a time and material or labor-only price, you want to make sure you include the profit on there as well. So. And there's a few things you need to figure out what, what you know what those percentages are. Your your labor burden. What is your labor burden, right? What's your labor burden percentage? What is your profit percentage? Uh, what is your overhead percentage, right? What are they fringes? If they're if they don't have fringes, then you know you exclude that. But if they do have fringes, uh, most likely fringes are dealing with uh, union rates. Uh, then you need to get their pay their 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 schedule. What what pay schedule are they on? You know, get a copy of that from uh, your union. You should already have that. So you need to figure out all those things to put that specialty price together. If you do not put those things together, we know it can happen. Soon you will fail. Soon you will lose jobs. And then eventually you will go out of business. And estimating jobs accurately is a very important, if not the most important, to running your business. Okay? Understand your numbers. Understand where you're at with your numbers, how much these things cost. That's my tip. The title of this tip is um, Determine an Accurately Hourly Rate for Specialty Labor. See you on the next tip. Oh, hey, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to like. Go ahead, hit the like button. All right, see you on the next one. Hope you win many more bids. Thank you.